Okay, so we're back at it. This is part two of welding stainless. And right here I have some mild steel. So I want you guys to see the difference from when you're doing mild steel as opposed to stainless. And I can already see that mild steel is going to be easier to weld because it's a little bit thicker. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I'm also gonna show you guys some thicker stuff just so you can see the difference because this stuff you really gotta move fast and a lot of the techniques just don't work. You just gotta hit it up, weld it as fast as you can, else you will blow through. We're gonna try all those techniques, like the E, I'm gonna do the little circles on this also. We'll see how it works. Like I said, we'll also compare it to this guy right here. So that's what we're doing today. All right, so let's start with something easy. I got the light behind me because I've noticed this mask is pretty much on dark the entire time, and that's why I can't see stuff. So hopefully the light behind me will help me see what the crap I'm doing. I took a guess at the settings. I just tacked it up. This is thicker stuff. This stuff is always easier than the thin stuff, so I just want you guys to see that. So I, for this guy, all I'm going to do is just hit it, and then I'm just going to go a little bit back and forth this control the puddle now this is going to be way easier because i'm not going to burn through on this we'll see how my settings are i just took a guess well So as you can see, you can definitely control the puddle with thicker stuff. Thin stuff, you gotta be careful. Okay, so there's that. Not horrible. I think I can turn the heat up a little more. So I'm gonna hit the back side up, turn the heat up a little more. And we're gonna do the E on this one. Well, I don't think we can do the E on this because uh, you really wanna stick on stuff that's like this, that's a corner. You really want to stick it right in the corner and turn the heat up so it gets good penetration. I think I can get a little more penetration on this, a little more heat. So let's try the back side. All right, so if you notice, um, the bottom material is thicker than the top. So what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to try to put a little more heat in the bottom and then kind of go up and down just a little bit. Like I said, I wouldn't, but I think I need to add a little more heat to the bottom and then pull it up. Let's see if that works. And remember, flux core, you always drag. You can't push. When there's slag, you drag. wire but that was looking good so as you can see we we're starting to get a pretty darn good bead going down there and really good penetration but I ran out of wire so let me see if I have any more wire laying around hopefully I do or else I have to run to the store all right so we're at Lowe's and gosh dang it man look at that I remember this stuff was like under 20 bucks at one time well gotta love inflation so I'm gonna try I was gonna get two <laughs> but I ain't gonna spend $50 on the two of them. So I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna try 30. I think I was using 35 last time. So we'll see if 30 works better. Okay, so we got the 30 wire in there. We're gonna try to stain this. I'm gonna try the cursor V, or you can just basically zigzags. I've done this on the um, other pipe before too. It's basically just going 
like that down. And the idea is you're, you're hitting the sides and the other side and you're bridging the material or you could just make a tack and go up and down it kind of the same thing but we'll see which way works better and i appreciate you guys comments we're going to try them all if you have any more comments later on at this video please put them down i'll try them out so we're not worried about any anti-spattering that stuff and we're going to butt them up let's go ahead and tack them Remember, this is stainless, so you can't use a magnet. You just gotta make it happen, Captain. Okay, I think this 30 is gonna work way better. I should've been using 30 the entire time, probably. Oh, this is gonna work way better, guys. Yeah, I can tell. It's not gonna blow through like the uh, 35. It's amazing. What just five thousandths of an inch will do. All right, so hopefully the well doesn't break another side. We're going to hit her up and see how far we can go down. And the light is definitely helping. I can actually see what the crap I'm doing now. Oh, come on. Man. I should have made something to hold this better, but oh well. We're just going to make it happen. Kind of see what I'm doing. I gotta get a better welding mask, guys. Let's do it. Start from right here. Make sure this one's still got it. I hope it still got it. I'm just gonna leave it right there. I'm also to the side, trying not to block, but we'll see how it works. Oopsie. Thirty is the way to go with this stuff. I didn't even think about it when I was doing it last. So you can see now that it's not putting so much heat into it like it was before, basically blowing through. All right, so now I'm just gonna go up and down, see how that works. I kind of think that's working better. I tell you what's really helping is this light. <laughs> I can actually see what I'm doing. Let's see if I can do a nice long one. I don't trust it. Burnt through. Wasn't going fast enough. All right, let's go back to the E technique. I'm gonna try turning up the wire speed a little bit. We're getting way Plenty, 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 plenty of penetration. I'll show, and one viewer wanted to see that. It's 
I almost burnt through a couple of times. <laughs> you really got to move fast. Clean her up. Okay, this is from yesterday. This is from today. The 30 wire is definitely easier, way, way easier. You can actually not move like a madman and not blow through it, but you still got to move fast. I'm not sure what was the circle E or what was the up and down. That's probably the uh, circles. And that looks like the up and down right there. Yeah, because I blew through right there. So that's the up and down circle. I'm not sure which one looks better, which one is better. Penetration is ridiculous. You can see in there. Let's get a shot. More than enough penetration. Okay, now we have mild steel. And I think it's only fair to compare mild steel versus the stainless. This is see a difference in how the two materials react. So let me go ahead and tack it. It's going to handle heat way better, I can tell already. I can probably turn the wire speed down. Alright, so let's go ahead and See how my settings are. I'm gonna do like the little C technique. I'm gonna go in little C's and see how that works. I need to turn the wire speed down. I can probably get a little more heat. See how it's so different than that stainless already? Very, very different already, as you can see. Clean her up. Okay, so here we have three different materials and three totally different outcomes. Here's the thicker stuff. The thicker stuff is definitely way easier to uh, make it look nicer. Stainless, it definitely conducts the heat differently. The same settings will blow right through it. And then you have mild steel, which was definitely the easiest of the exhaust pipe to weld. You can put the heat on it a lot longer, you can go slower, you can control it a little better. But hopefully, you know, this has been helpful and I wanted to show the three different materials just so I can illustrate three different types 
of scenarios that you might go through and that the settings are not the same. And the materials do not act the same. So until next time, guys, don't forget to subscribe. If you have more questions, hit me below. And peace.